uh, hello guys uh, good afternoon uh, let me introduce myself later before i start i want to ask as you can all see what is seo now agree raise your hand with me it is search engine optimizations organizers please see the hands give them 10 rupees when they left Be because in 2024 if you think seo is search engine optimization then 10 rupees is all you're gonna get it is search experience optimizations we optimize for experience to the users not for search engines only right now let's move forward what are the types of seos is it white hat gray hat and black hat who would agree now no one raise want to raise hands okay you you you're wrong on page off page and technical who agrees you're also wrong the next one is local semantic and programming who agrees you're again wrong the ultimate answer is actually it based on the context of what you will do for wordpress doing this seo professionally you have lots of plugins right guys uh, sorry for the technical difficulties anyway i was saying that uh, regarding all these seo stuffs you have to work based on the context even if it is for wordpress you have lots of plugins for that you can choose uh, your plugins uh, from anywhere you need i used all of them so all of them probably provide a little bit similar services now having all this you are now a seo expert like this guy so let's talk about what is programmatic seo it's quite different than uh, what regular seo used to do so programmatic seo mainly works with the landing pages where other seos basically works for both landing page and uh, blog page or some other sort of specific target pages but programmatic seo fully focused on the landing pages of your website it might be your products it might be your services etc so what's the difference between regular and programmatic seo It's the same thing programmatic seo is mostly automated and the regular seo is mostly manual it uh, programmatic works for uh, landing pages regular seo mainly works for the blogs and stuff like that so here it's an interesting topic many of you or many professionals on youtube and web will tell you what to do how to do and stuff like that but no one will tell you what not to do especially in programmatic seo this is the thing let me ask you a question who here is married you guys will understand this better because let me tell you why once you have a girlfriend what do you do you try different races you try with different restaurants different menus but if you are married, you are doing work, you are providing, you are working hard, doing everything right, but still you are sleeping at the couch. <laughs> so married people understand this because if you target regular keywords or short or seed keywords, this is not going to work. You have to target long tail keywords. The longer the better. Now let's come with the intent. Uh, if you use some sort of SEO eight tools you will know that there is four types of intent among them there is only transactional intent that will work for programmatic seo and for the ux no matter how much look good you look good you're still sleeping in the couch you up i tried to do something all right uh, uh this is for the married people i guess but most of the singles got it anyway so if you if you don't optimize your site or your pages with long tail keywords if you don't target the intent of transactional keywords and if you don't have a faster loading website faster easier lightweight website you are sleeping in the couch with your website so there's something you should follow and uh, that falls onto the ux uh, for better ux you can have choose any themes that serves your purpose only uh, these things in my opinion or i use this so most of the time these this works really fine so now you got a pretty much good idea about what programmatic seo is or how this works right so we me and you guys are at the same stage so we are all seo experts programmatic seo experts this is what i think i do this is seo this is what i do and this uh, my mom when she came to know that i know seo this is what 
she thinks I do. And this is my friends think what I do. But in actuality, let me show you, guys. Let me show you what in actually I do. This is what I do. So mainly, this is how I rank our website. This is how I rank my client website. If you can do this, you are ranking your website. You just worship your search engines. <laughs> that good one. So let's uh, move on to the next. So programmatic SEO doesn't work for every type of website or every type of service or products. It works mostly on travel related website like TripAdvisor or Agoda. Uh, most onto a geographical website like Yolo page or sort of like that. This is my favorite, the portfolio ones. This is where I taste it. That whether programmatic SEO works or not and it worked really fine for me. So let's move on to this. So what I did is, I found a lot of long tail keywords for particularly for the services that I provide for my clients or organizations. So having those long tail keywords, I used a very faster loading theme that with minimum you know, customizations, I kept the template as it is with some color changes and stuff so that it doesn't get that much heavier. And I made, it, I made something uh, that tracks the techno, uh, location from where the user is surfing on my site. For example, if someone is from visiting from UK, my website will, or my analytics, except for the analytics, my website will know that this traffic is visiting from the UK. So this technological enhancement I implemented on my website before I started the journey. So this is how I started placement of the keywords. If, for example, if I am the SU expert, then I am the SU expert and the preferred area. If someone is searching from Austin, Texas, USA, they will say SU expert near me. You have heard this meme, right? So this near me, I added some technology like programmatic changes. Whenever people searches near me, if my pages ranks at the first page, I will be appearing at the first. So for doing that, I targeted only USA, UK, and Spain, because I know Spanish. So that's my personal preference. I purchased three domains and redirected them to the single one. The technology is, if someone is visiting from USA, Canada, they are seeing .com, the .com version of my domain. If they are visiting from the UK, they are seeing .co.uk version of my domain, with the same, same content. And if someone is visiting from Spain, they will be seeing the ES domain with Spanish language. Here, technical SEO people, who is here familiar with technical SEO? You will know the reflect tag implementation, right? So I implemented all this in this single domains and it works really fine. Now for the changes or uh, languages, these are the three languages I choose. The benefit is in the world, there are 27 countries that speak Spanish as their national language. So besides Spain, I have all the other countries in my targeted list. So this is the performance I had. I added long tail, I added faster loading theme, I added uh, all the services for different keywords. And also in parallel, I started my blogs and other form of um, you know home page and about and contact sort of like that for the blogs i applied the manual seo techniques and for the landing pages i applied programmatic seo techniques and you can see after implementing according to the algorithm this is the graph you can see one month three month six twelve and four twenty four so i haven't had any downwards graph since I implemented programmatic SEO. That means I am not sleeping in the couch with programmatic SEO. Thank you, everybody. My name is Asad. I am from Bangladesh. Thank you for having me here and organizers. Thank you for your presentation. I really liked it. You're welcome. And one question, how we can use programmatic SEO for lawyers? For? Law firms. Especially the law firm SEO is one of the competitive niche. 
Yes. Right. I, so I, I didn't get you again. So please. for lawyers. Okay. So especially to be very specific, personal injury lawyers. This is a very competitive term in USA. So I'm currently working with them. Mm -hmm. So how I can utilize this for the lawyers? All right. So your target market is United States. Yes. And is it the directory or listing for the lawyers, or particularly a single lawyer that provides their service? Yes, single that lawyers. Business? Okay. For single lawyers. Uh, if, for example, if it is a personal injury lawyer, then there are sort of injuries like accident, and there is injuries like uh, fighting or you know violence. Mm -hmm. So you isolate these services into different service pages. You modify the search term. If that lawyer provides entire USA, their service entire USA, then you identify these terms with cities and states mm -hmm. in particular. So. Uh, for example, ABC is the lawyer name, best personal injury lawyer. This is the main phrase of keyword and besides, for example, someone from Yellowstone, California. This Yellowstone, California, here you will be optimizing for programmatic SEO. That if someone search from New York City, they will be having this page. If someone's from Washington DC, they will be having this page. But you rank for the entire keyword for that targeting in particular service page. So it's a single page? Yes. Uh, now I need your thoughts on how to handle the URL. Sorry? The URL. URL would be the seed, personal injury lawyer. So for different location, it will be the same URL. Yes. OK, thank you. You're welcome. OK, as you said, you are handling the uh, website in the Spain and Australia, uh, US. Uh, see, like loading speed also matter in the so many cases. Do you uh, prefer the location in the, the like server locality in the same place, or like you are maintaining the CDN, or like uh, you are using the Indian or sorry, uh, your country server only? Or? I'm maintaining the CDN. Okay, in that area. See, like uh, maintaining the website in the separate server or like CDN, maintaining the CDN will be more beneficial for that. Well, for me, CDN works really well. But if you want to try, I haven't tried for the different servers because I am optimizing for the fast, uh, fast loading themes and uh, my site is pretty lightweight. So one millisecond doesn't take that much of effect, but I am using CDN, having other servers, I haven't tried that. But if you try, please do let me know how that works. Sure, for please you. go ahead connect it to the LinkedIn then. <laughs> sure. Uh, sir, thank you so much for your amazing session. Uh, I would like to ask, can we do SEO with AI generated content, uh, like the generated the content that is generated using chat, GPT, BARD, uh, Claude, to, to do the SEO in 2024? So give him 20 rupees actually, <laughs> because he's most on to, okay. So I am particularly SEO guy, but I do work with contents. Here's the thought, content and search engine doesn't have to do anything with where it is produced from, right? If you produce and I produce the same content with the same title, you use AI and I use manual process, there is no such thing that can identify that my content is ranking higher or your content is ranking lower. It solely depends on the intent. If you can generate contents via AI better than me writing manually, there is a high chance that you can rank your contents. But as far as I know and as far as I saw, the Google or any other search engines are defining an algorithm to detect AI generated contents to rank higher. Because when you write a content, you talk to me. As if I am the user, you talk to me through your content. But when AI or any other writing generator uh, writes a content, they doesn't talk to us, right? They talk their language. So a robot talking to me and having you talking to me, there's two different things and I will always prefer talking with you in person. So if you can produce a content that actually has the conversational tone one to one through AI, there is no way stopping you. Oh, thank you so much, sir. I have a tail question to ask. Uh, is content is still the king in 2024 to rank yes. the website or is it the battling that matters the most still? I personally, let me tell you something about my experience. I personally ranked more than 100 domains without having a single backlink. Oh, that's great. So content is still the king. Oh, thank you so much, sir.